Welcome to my April 20 walkabout. I thought I'd come up here and look around at where it burned last year. See what's going on. So, I don't see any uh, morel mushrooms so far. But I do see poison oak here somewhere. Poison ivy rather. Yeah, there we go. That could always make it through a fire pretty good. There's some snow up in the mountains up in, in uh, southern British Columbia or maybe northern Washington. Not much snow last winter. Kind of a light snow pack. I wonder if this color will even show up on a screen. Looks pretty verdant right now. Off on that mountain, the, the fire hit pretty hard last year. So that will look pretty brown for a while and change to a grassy area mostly instead of a forest. There's the view from here. I'm not sure what this elevation is, but I'm going to call it the 420 meters above sea level that I was looking for for this hike. Because it's there. And uh, we got um, an elderberry growing back after the fire. Orkin grape. I need to get out of my shadow, it looks like. Um, choke cherry, I think. And a lot of the other plants I can't identify. But something is growing back. There's a fair amount of conglomerate up here with a fair amount of granitic rocks, some of which are river rocks. Other than that, I couldn't tell you much about the geology.
believe this is Saskatoon growing back. way that there's not much lichen on that rock and that this um, bush the name of which I will remember soon uh, elderberry has been broken off and scattered down the hill looks like it's been a recent rock fall and sometimes there's fossils in these rocks I'm gonna have a, a peek I'm guessing I won't get lucky with this particular kind of rock but we'll see no luck with the fossil. <clears throat> Poison ivy. Do not eat. Glad this is a bull snake. Scared the uh, crud out of me. back after the fire quite nicely and I'm really lucky that I didn't kneel down on this jumping cactus.